So how is Janai going to react when she finds out her future wife was locked in a book return box? Hey everyone, welcome to Princess Gay, I'm your host Connie, and today we are here with Season 5, Episode 5 of Dragon Prince. And yeah, last we left off, uh, things went to shit at the library, but we knew that was going to happen. It was very obvious. It's just, it's basically a trope where it's like, oh, we're going to go to this location and set up the fact that, oh, if it becomes night, shit gets fucked. So it's got to get fucked. It's got to become night. The monsters have to come out to play. It's like, th that's the rules. <laughs> um, and I've said before, not all tropes are bad. Just because they're a trope, just because they're used a lot in media, does not automatically make them bad. It's dependent on the execution. And this is a trope that usually I would say works. I, I've seen it feel a little off. I've seen it feel like a little forced at times, but I say usually it works <laughs> because it's a, it's a simple trope. It's a simple trope that builds an expectation and then delivers on it. And yeah, it's easy. It's simple. It's something that you, you see coming, but that doesn't mean it's bad. As long as it works within the context of the episode or the movie or game or just story that you're telling, that's what's important. That's much more important than worrying about um, just the trope as it is. You know what I mean? I hope you know what I mean. Sometimes I don't know what I mean, but... Anyway... Um... Ezrin and his uh, team have kind of converged back together with Callum's side of things. So the brothers are back in town, and I guess they're heading back to the kingdom? I, I think that's where they might be headed. Because I don't think they would be heading back to the Sunfire Elves in Janai. That wouldn't make a lot of sense to me. Why would they go there? Um, but I don't know where else they would go at this point either. I don't know. Maybe they'll just stick around in like the woods around the area or something. That's always possible. Of course, they could also just be going straight towards the next location. This uh, place where the weapon that can apparently kill a, a star touch elf is although i'm still questioning that just because of the way it was worded and everything it seems like there's much more to it than we think um there's also supposed to be a way in that location to help um rayla's parents and mentor get out of the soul coins so I, I think that's going to be more doable, honestly. But we'll see. We'll see. We also have a uh, traitorous bitch working with his new lackey to try and get Soul Regim back up and on his feet. That's a thing that's happening. But Soul Regim does not seem interested in the slightest. He just wants to sit there and pout. You know, fair, honestly. Um, but, I, I don't know, I feel like shit's gonna go bad there, too. I, I, again, I guess we'll see. It's like, there's so many, like, plot points happening that it's almost a little hard to keep track of them all. And it's weird, because there's a lot of shows where I can do that pretty easily. Like, at the points in the Owl House when there was a lot of stuff going on, I could keep track of all of it pretty well. I can keep track of most of what's happening in One Piece at any given time. And there's always a shit ton happening in One Piece at any given time. So it's like, I don't know. I don't know. But, 
we are going to continue watching and find out and I guess at least for now just see what happens with this episode. So let's get into it and see what this next episode of Dragon Prince Season 5 has in store for us. Cutting in here real quick to remind you of all the awesome content we have on the channel. Between Monday and Friday, we have a plethora of awesome series reactions with two on Wednesday. We also have movie reactions every Saturday and Sunday. I do pre-record them during the week, but I upload them on the weekend. And don't forget all the gaming content we have both on this channel and the Secondary Princess of Gaming channel. We have Horizon Forbidden West every other day and Baldur's Gate 3 every single day on this channel, while we also have Near Automata every Saturday on the other. And don't forget to click the link down in the description below to get to today's reaction. I redirect it just due to copyright reasons. And finally, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video if you want to see more awesome content such as this. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let's get on to the reaction. And we are back and we'll begin with spoilers in 3, 2, 1, now. So I looked up Lara Sadiq, and it, I, I don't really know her for a lot. She was in The Breadwinner, which uh, I did a reaction to, like, years ago. But she was also, uh, I guess, one of the voices for Chi-Chi from the Ocean dub of Dragon Ball Z. Um, but from what I could tell, that's pretty much it. Um, unless I, mi I, I possibly missed stuff. I was looking on, like, behind the voice actors, because that's what I typically go for uh when looking up well a voice actor um but there's probably some other stuff here apparently according to this uh stargate for live action i guess um let me see if i can find anything else here real quick there's dragon prince strawberry shortcake apparently Yeah, it's like there's a lot of live action stuff, a lot of like uh, kids stuff. Um, oh, apparently she was in a voice of My Little Pony Pony Life, so that's interesting. Uh, Ratchet and Clank short. She was in Arrow. There's the breadwinner. Um, Far Cry Primal. Far Cry 4, Degrassi, Fringe, a lot of stuff I've, like, heard of but never, like, really watched, you know? Dead Like Me, Twilight Zone, apparently, The Outer Limits, yeah, just a lot of, like, random stuff here. But, like, nothing I would really know her for. Like, really know her for. The closest thing would be the breadwinner, honestly. Um, you would think it would be Dragon Ball Z, but I never really watched the Ocean dub, so I wouldn't really know her for that. But anyway, uh, so... This episode basically had us determining what to do next, and we ended up going to see this, uh this mage you could say this um how what was the term I used archmage that was it um and she's wacky and goofy like this old crazy kind of witchy lady um it was very obvious even though she said she wasn't the archmage it was very obvious she was and it was interesting that she tried to kill them even if she didn't want to, she tried to do it because of her pact. Now, it wasn't entirely clear. Was her pact, like, a magical pact where she had to obey? Or was it just something she promised to do? Because if it was just a promise, like, she's technically broken it now, but she's not dying or anything. Um, like, she, she was being super dramatic drinking that um, shot... And pretending it was poison and shit. It's like... she's She almost comes across as an unreliable source of information. 
But I, I, I kind of believe her about where the prison is. But it's probably more, like, complicated than just, oh, show up in this location. You probably have to have some way to access it, too. So, yeah. Don't know where that's going to go at the moment. But we still have another lead with uh, the star scraper i'm trying to I, I i have to remember it's kind of like skyscraper just further up <laughs> this the star scraper they still have that lead um they're basically at this point trying to race claudia and her group uh viren's group i guess you could say to um the prison and all a lot of shit going down viren is catatonic uh because we can have nice things and Terry is teaching Claudia to dance like a bee, I guess. That's uh, okay. Do not shake your butt in your father's face, though. Do not do, not do that. For multiple reasons, don't do that. Anyway. <laughs> we also have our uh, Sunfire baddies. Going to reach out to a Blood Moon baddie for help because of, like, this decades and decades long pact. Um, because his great-grandmother, I think it was, like, saved, uh, spared her and now she owes the family her life and everything, so... She's going to pay back her debt by helping him. And it's like, this is just not going to good places. Like, it's funny how when uh, Feroz is first introduced, he's kind of like this uh, confident ally to um, the prince. And, and then now he's just kind of a sniveling loser. <laughs> like, he's become so, like, cowardly. And I mean, don't get me wrong, the shit that's happening here is crazy, but it's like, he his personality has flipped quite a bit. I guess like even he's like affected by how fucked up and just terrible the prince is. Um, we got nothing more in this episode regarding, uh, regarding Amaya or Janai or anything like that. It, it was mostly just what we already had going with our main group. With the one big exception, of course, being the Dragon Queen's um, corruption, we, we'll say. That's the big thing that's setting up for what's probably going to be very bad shit. Um... I, I don't like the direction that's headed because it's like, can she be healed from this? I, I really hope so because otherwise, like, there's no other option but to kill her. R right? And, and we obviously don't want to do that. She's a friend. She's an ally. She's Zim's mom. We don't want to kill her. But it's like, if there's literally no other option... I, I genuinely don't know how to do, what to do about this. This is gonna be a pretty wild um, follow up to this because there's nine episodes. There's nine episodes uh, in total for the season. And this is episode five, so there's only four more. And that means that. Unless they wait for the Dragon Queen to bring her back in at the finale. A and even if they don't, there's going to be a lot more shit going on to close this season out. I'm kind of wondering if they're going to get to this lake and have a confrontation with Claudia's uh, side of things. At the end of this season. I, I, I genuinely kind of don't know what to expect at this point. But we shall see. Um, for the time being, 
Uh, thank you all so much for tuning in. As always, no spoilers. Um, but let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. For now, I'm Connie, and I'm signing off. See y'all next time.